Hello, today I want to talk a little bit about blowflies and the significance they have in the environment for ecologists to study species richness. Blowflies can actually recover DNA and find chemical signatures from animal feces and in dead carcasses. They have something called necrophagus, which uh, they need an animal carcass as a substrate to help with the developmental stages of their larva. The female blowfly, blowfly will actually uh, taste any kind of meat or dead carcasses so that way it can find a good quality so before it lays its eggs into uh, anything. So the importance of these blowflies for ecologists specifically um, to test biodiversity, which biodiversity is a very important part of an ecosystem's well-being and stability in maintaining uh, the, their environment. And if there's some kind of loss in the biodiversity, it would be pretty detrimental to the environment. It can have dramatic effects, even on a global scale, but going down just to a simple pond ecosystem, it could have a big effect. And because of this, it is important to find ways of doing quick and non-invasive methods to learn about spatial temporal changes in the animal community's compositions. And because of their ability to collect DNA from carcasses, it is a very good way for ecologists to study this to see what type of species richness is in a specific area. So these are some images of some blowflies. Uh, on the left you'll see a picture of a female blowfly and on the left is uh, the larva, larva stages. And just some more fun facts about blowflies. They're very active during the warmer weather so this is the best time to do studies. And because of this, ecologists can study them and study the increased population turnover and the population abundance in a specified area. And the female blowflies actually have been found to have more of an ability to carry the DNA and chemical sequencing because of their need of more nutrients to help with their reproduction stages. And this information was all found on the female blowflies as a vertebrate resource indicator article in the scientific reports.